Welcome to my channel. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Counting on Alam Jinger Duggar Vuolo is back with a new podcast episode with her husband, Jeremy. The two officially returned to their podcast after over two years of hiatus. The married couple likes to talk about many things about their family, especially during the reality show. But many were surprised when Jinger opened up about how her family disliked some of TLC's edits. Keep reading to see her revelations. In August, Jinger released a podcast episode in which she talked about her relationship with the show's film crew. According to The Counting on Alum, she had a strong relationship with almost everyone on the production crew, adding that some of them stayed in touch for 10 years and became family to them. Unfortunately, she believes they won't be able to do any more projects following her brother Josh's Sam arrest. On the latest episode of Jinger Duggar Vuolo's podcast, she revealed that her family didn't like how some parts of the show were edited. Maybe we felt like some things might have started to be cut in a way that we didn't like it, the Counting on Alum confessed, adding that there are times when she'd go, and it was like, I didn't say that. One of the bad edits Jinger mentioned was when she rolled her eyes in an interview and Tulsi would put it out of context, making it look like it was for her mom and dad. And it was like, no, I didn't mean that, she added. As a result, they'd sometimes watch rough cuts of episodes before they get aired on TV. Jinger added that they would rewatch the show to relive memories. It's like our home videos really because so many years before it came out my parents were really good about taking home videos of those, she added. Jinger Duggar Vuolo also shared a clip on Instagram from the latest episode of her podcast. The clip features the Counting on Alum re-watching an old episode where she was so young. She was enjoying the snow with some of her siblings, and Jinger couldn't hide her happiness, relieving the scene again. For us, we would get some snow, but ice storms will come through, and this one in particular is crazy, she added. Jinger Duggar Vuolo's relationship with the media and her family's Till see show, 19 Kids and Counting, and later Counting On, has evolved significantly over the years. Now living in California, far from the tight-knit Duggar family compound in Arkansas, Jinger has found her voice and isn't afraid to speak out about the reality of her reality TV experience. In her memoir Becoming Free Indeed, she delves into what it was like to grow up in front of the cameras and how her family truly felt about TLC's portrayal of their lives. Here's a closer look at how Jinger Duggar reveals her family's complex relationship with the show's edits and how they processed the inevitable distortion of their lives on screen. Jinger's parents, Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar, were vocal about their faith and how it shaped their lifestyle. Their commitment to purity culture, modesty, and traditional roles in the family came across as strict, but the Duggars hoped it would inspire viewers. Yet, according to Jinger, the family also had reservations about how TLC might depict them. They were aware that the network could selectively edit footage to fit a particular narrative, emphasizing certain aspects of their lifestyle while minimizing others. As Jinger describes, the Duggars were given some control over what parts of their life were shown, but not total control. This created a balancing act. They wanted the public to see their core values, but feared that certain beliefs and practices might be misinterpreted or sensationalized. She explains that her parents and the show's producers would often discuss storylines and sequences, trying to ensure the portrayal was true to who they were, yet, she points out that this was not always achievable. Jinger explains that her family was often frustrated by the show's emphasis on their strict, conservative beliefs. Some of the editing choices made the Duggars seem rigid and even isolated from mainstream society. She recalls how scenes were sometimes refilmed or directed to appear more dramatic than they were in real life, especially when it came to their courtship rules, strict guidelines for gender roles, and emphasis on large family dynamics. According to Jinger, some of her siblings resented the way their personalities were flattened by the show's portrayal. Fans might remember that the Duggars were often presented as a harmonious unit, with Jim Bob and Michelle leading and the children happily following. However, as Jinger points out, they were still individuals with varying opinions and personalities. Some of the siblings, particularly the older ones like Jana and Jessa, had stronger or differing views than were shown. Yet, the show often prioritized group activities and rules over individual moments. 
In some ways, Jinger felt that this edited portrayal distanced her family from reality. It painted a picture-perfect family that didn't reflect their genuine struggles or occasional disagreements. These edits, she reveals, sometimes frustrated the family as they felt it didn't represent them fully. Like many reality TV stars, Jinger acknowledges that the Duggars knew the show needed to be entertaining. This meant producers might play up certain aspects, like sibling rivalries or big life events, in a way that made them seem more intense than they were. For example, Jinger describes her courtship with Jeremy Vuolo as being edited to emphasize the contrast between Jeremy's more relaxed views and the Duggars' strict approach. Though their different backgrounds were genuine, the editing exaggerated their interactions, sometimes painting her husband as a rebel in a way that didn't fully align with reality. Jinger remembers instances when Tilsi would set up situations to film, even if they weren't naturally happening in the Duggar household. For example, if there was a family game night or outing, producers might encourage certain comments or reactions to make the scene more engaging. This manipulation, though not necessarily deceitful, did influence the perception of the Duggars' everyday life. As Jinger grew older, she found herself grappling with the show's portrayal of her own identity. She has always been one of the more curious and questioning Duggars, which sometimes led her to silently challenge the beliefs she'd been raised with. In her memoir, she recalls feeling a pull between what was expected of her as a Duggar and her own developing values. However, her struggles with faith, identity, and self-expression weren't showcased on the show. This lack of authenticity in her portrayal eventually weighed heavily on her. Jinger explains that she felt the need to present herself in a certain way, whether or not it matched her true thoughts. Over time, this created a sense of detachment for her. When she moved to Los Angeles with Jeremy, she felt free to redefine herself and publicly express her individuality, including her evolving relationship with her faith. In reflecting on the show's depiction of her life, Jinger shares that she has mixed feelings. She's grateful for the platform the show gave her family, but she wishes it had shown more nuance in the family's beliefs and values, including her own journey of growth and questioning. Being in the public eye brought intense scrutiny to the Duggars, especially during controversies, like the 2015 revelations about Josh Duggar. The family's initial reaction, Jinger reveals, was a combination of shock and disappointment, not only at the events themselves, but also at the way the media and TLC handled the fallout. Jinger shares that some of her siblings, especially those who had already left home, were disillusioned with how the network seemed to focus on their family's troubles more than their faith or positive contributions. For the Duggars, who viewed the show as a way to promote their values, the coverage surrounding Josh's scandal felt like a betrayal. Jinger notes that her parents were deeply hurt by what they perceived as a lack of sensitivity from the media. As they processed this, the family became more guarded about what they would share on screen. Jinger recalls that the scandal marked a turning point, leading her and her siblings to question whether the fame and exposure were truly worth it. In her reflections, Jinger doesn't entirely dismiss the value of the show. She appreciates the way it introduced her family's values to a broader audience and believes that it did have a positive impact for some. However, she emphasizes that viewers should remember that reality TV is often filtered. While she appreciates the support of fans who connected with her family's story, she hopes they understand that her journey is more complex than what was shown on TLC. Jinger's openness about her experience offers a rare glimpse behind the scenes of 19 kids and counting and counting on. She encourages fans to recognize the difference between reality TV and real life especially when it comes to family dynamics. Her reflections reveal how the Duggars struggled with maintaining their values in a world that doesn't always respect or understand them. Since the show ended, many of the Duggar children have forged their own lives and, in some cases, diverged significantly from their parents' beliefs. Jinger's story shows that each member of the family has grown and adapted in unique ways, even if these transformations weren't always shown on camera. Her journey also reveals the complexities of living a life that is both deeply personal and highly public. Ultimately, Jinger hopes that by sharing her side of the story, she can help fans understand what it was like to grow up in the Duggar family under the watchful eye of Telsey. Her story of liberation, faith, and authenticity is a testament to the journey she's been on, both in front of and away from the cameras. 
and for Jinger this honesty is a way to finally reclaim her voice, unedited and true.